Hi there, it's Neil Morgan again with another Lick of the Week. This time we're doing a Mike Stern style idea using lots of chromatics over a single B flat minor 7 band. So as always, I'll play the lick and then I shall explain how to play it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, lots of brackets, but the basic tonality is a B flat minor seven. So B flat minor nine, something like. In fact, you could use any sort of diatonic extension of the B flat minor chord, such as the vamp, and you can apply this lick there. Because there are so many chromatics, it's going to sound fairly out of sight, regardless of the chord that you're using. Um, so whether it's B flat minor seven, B flat minor nine, B flat minor eleven, minor thirteen, and so on, you can use this in those contexts. Um, so we're very loosely based around the B flat minor seven, uh, B flat blues scale. Sorry, very loosely indeed. Um, but what we're doing at the start is fifth position using fourth finger of the eighth fret. So that's the ninth of the chord. So uh, we then chromatically descend down to the fifth. Yeah, and then you play the root note again, the sixth fret. Fourth fret up. Okay, again. After you play the root note again, you go to the seventh fret of the B string, with a sharp fifth, so the flat thirteen, and you chromatically descend to the fifth fret. And then play the sixth fret. All that together. Okay, so what, what you're doing here, the reason that a lick like this works, despite all the chromatic notes, every note, or certainly the vast majority of notes on the beat, are chord tones. So starting with ninth, then the groove, then the fifth. Okay, so once we've played the sixth fret, so the fifth of the chord, we're going to then descend. In a pattern of like pattern of thirds, but uh, essentially we're thinking of, thinking of it as the blues scale. Um, so you're going to count the flat fifth, so the fifth fret in this case, as a scale tone. So you're going to have yeah, and then you add the ninth to that scale. So again, we're very loosely based around the blues scale, which is not a chord. Exclusively playing the blues scale. So we've got. And then end on the minor third. Put all that together. Carry on going down in thirds. And then to the major seventh. Slide up to the eighth fret. So now we're in proper blue scale territory, and we just end with the blue scale. Okay. So we play the eighth fret, you then jump to the sixth fret of the G string, then the ninth fret of the G string, then the sixth fret of the B string, back to the ninth fret of the G string. And then the sixth fret. And that's the last note. Okay, so we're going. Um, and that's the next section. So, um, starting from this fifth, we know what we're descending in third right here. I'll go from there. Time, every note on the beat is a chord tone. Occasionally it's not, but most of the time. So I'll play the whole lick really slowly now. Okay, avoid the 
conversations you've had with Arthur over the last month, Arthur is really not down. <laughs> so, hold your note there. All right, here it is one more time, nice and slow, nice and loud. That's it, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.